Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel, Saber here again, back with Free Scary Games. The last one was a little while ago, so here we are again, and we're starting off the episode with a game called Ambuscade. I had no idea what the fuck Ambuscade meant, so I looked it up, and it's a French word for ambush, I think. The game looks very pretty though, so we're gonna see. Cool little menu, how you get into it. What is that on the left? Is that my lungs? I don't know what that is, it's going down though. I don't like that it's going down. That's not a good sign. What is that? <laughs> it's a shoe. One euro. For what? Press E to dig. It's going down pretty fast. Oh, we're eating. Oh, we need to keep ourselves fed. <laughs> what a lovely dinner we just had. That was great. Oh my god, very tasty. I love the taste of shit in my mouth. That's my favorite quarantine area. Authorized personnel only. Microbiological containment. Is it like zombie shit? Well, what is happening? Proceed to dig. Eat it again. <laughs> oh, yeah. Give me all the poop in my mouth, guys. Please. Mmm. <laughs> that's pretty good. Um, let's go. Whoa, look at that. That looks very nice. <laughs> I've never seen a moon like that in a game before. Like this vibrant and this pretty. Very nice. What the fuck is that? Oh! What the fuck? Little demon child baby thing. Oh my god, I don't want any of it though. Uh uh uh. No, thank you. Huh? Oh. I got scared for a second, it wasn't going up. <laughs> I hear some. Oh. I don't think we need to eat right now. Okay. Uh, I hate those sounds. What the fuck? <laughs> it's a little gremlin. Come back here. Oh, come back here, little gremlin. I'm gonna catch you. This is just like that one episode in It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia where Charlie tries to catch a leprechaun. That's me right now. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> come here, bitch. Ah. Uh. This is kind of making me feel a little bit claustrophobic. This reminds me of a scene from Inception. <laughs> For any of you who have ever seen that movie. Eat! Fast! Eat! Thank you. Oh. Oh my god, those sounds. <laughs> oh. There you are. Are you bugged? What are you doing? <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure he's bugged. I don't think he's supposed to be running into the wall. <laughs> Um, am I supposed? I'm supposed to go that way. Can you? Can you scooch over? No. You gotta make me. You're gonna make me play the game again. You know what? Just because you made me restart the game, I hope I can eat you, kid. Come here. Come here. I'm gonna eat you, little child thing. You can cry all you want. Oh, that. Those tears are gonna be my water for my dinner that I'm gonna have, and my dinner is gonna be you. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit, I was kidding! Well, that's a... Uh, <laughs> at least we feasted, I guess. Yup, that was delicious. Um, <laughs> at least we got some meat in our mouth instead of, uh, you know, the garbage that we've been eating. So we were a zombie all along. I mean, it makes sense, I guess, because we were eating fucking garbage and trash, but... <laughs> Poor little girl! <laughs> oh, man! I feel terrible right now, but a zombie's gotta eat, man. That's nature, guys. That That's the way nature goes. Sadly. <laughs> God, that was fucked up. <laughs> days spent on the game development. 32 days. Oh, oh, wait, this is just the end. Oh, these, these, this is a cool way to do credits. All right, but well, that was certainly something. Um, I'm kind of traumatized for life right now after eating and completely devouring that little girl, but <laughs> that was a good game. <laughs> that was pretty sick. Next game. All right, here we are with the second game, and this one is called Night Guard. And <laughs> I mean, you can probably guess what the fuck is gonna happen in this game. We're on night duty as a guard and stuff is gonna happen. Weird stuff. Another boring night, another horror movie. Oh, trust me, you are you are about to be a horror game. I mean, you just got made into a horror game already, so it's not gonna be a boring night, pal. Don't you worry about that. It's gonna fucking suck, probably. Do I just watch the movie? Oh! 
There we go, it has started. What happened? Maybe I should check the fuse box. No. Always these games with the damn fuse boxes. And we always have to fucking investigate every time. I mean, you're a night guard, so I'm guessing... <laughs> so I I suppose, I mean, it's kind of your duty to check on the, on the fuse box if it goes wrong, but still. Fuck it. <laughs> Why would you want to be a night guard? Seems terrifying. Just be a day guard. That 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 seems a lot better because there's no like demons and stuff like that in the day. Everyone knows this. This is common knowledge. Where or where is the fuse box? Can we steal a car while we're at it? Some people don't know how to park their cars. <laughs> what do you mean? That's a fantastic job. I'm gonna guess it's over here. This is a door, right? Yes. Uh, no. What about in here? Yeah. I think that I think that's it at least. <laughs> a med kit. Oh. Why do we need a med kit? One of the most useful tools in the world. Just a fuse. What do you mean just a fuse? We need a fuse. Pick it up. Just a toolbox. Man, you might as well oh just bring the fuse with you already. I mean the fuse box is fucking blown. Oh, there's another door here. It better be in here. Aha! There it is. Damn, it looks like the fuse is blown. I need to replace it. Oh, wow, if only you fucking picked up the fuse that was right here already. But no! Don't listen to me. Nah, I, I thought someone was gonna be, <laughs> be there once I picked it up. But thankfully, no. Put it in. There we go. Put that one out, put that new one in. Good as new, baby! Pretty, that looks pretty good, apart from it kind of flashing <laughs> like there's demons around. But I mean, apart from that, it works. What is that sound? Is it the gate? What gate? <laughs> I haven't even seen a gate. What gate? Or was that the place um, right there? Like right there, in front right now. Maybe. I don't know. We're gonna see. I'm guessing yes, because... Wait. Is this where I came from? I don't remember. Oh. <laughs> There's nothing here. Okay, well, I guess it's over here. I was fucking wrong. Never mind. I have the memory of a goldfish, it seems. Oh, this gate. Um. I mean... What the hell? The gate is closed. Oh, wait, that one. <laughs> Uh-oh. I should call the director. Call... What the hell is that sound? What is that sound? It sounds like a demon baby! Huh? Oh my god, it sounds like a baby! I need to open a trunk! I need to find a way to open it. Well, <laughs> let me guess, it's the screwdriver or something. Because it was like, the most useful tool in the world! So I'm gonna guess it's gonna be for this. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, should we not grab the med kit also? What if the baby is, like, harmed or something? Well, if the baby is harmed, I swear to God, it, oh, you bitch, you don't want to listen to me. I, I, I'm a professional here. You should have taken the med kit. Open it. Take the med kit just in case, man. The baby might be hurt. Oh, you're an ugly baby. Close the trunk. <laughs> it's a toy? What's going on? Oh, it's a toy. That's why it's ugly. <laughs> it's not funny. I should check the fuses. Again? Well, I mean, the lights went out again, so sure. Yeah, but no. <laughs> what is up with these fucking fuses, man? Did the baby do this? Oh. 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 Stupid fucking running noises. There should be a gun around here somewhere. I mean, you're a night guard. Grab your gun. A power surge? The fuse box is completely blown. The fuse box is completely blown. I can't fix it. <laughs> Nothing a little duct tape, uh, duct tape can fix. Wait, isn't that duct tape? Boxes? I mean, I see the boxes right there, but isn't that duct tape? Well, whatever. Whatever. I thought duct tape was like the solution to everything. <laughs> Just a toolbox, well, 
I am no engineer or whatever. Well, electrician. <laughs> so, probably just gonna leave it blown like that. I mean, I don't get paid enough for this shit. Oh. Baby! Where'd you go, buddy? Oh my god. Toy Story is real, guys. If you don't pay attention to your toys, they start doing shit. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, oh, oh! What the fuck is this? Oh! Oh no, he's behind me. Oh! Oh my god, you bitch! Oh my god. I fell for the oldest trick in the book, guys. This is the oldest trick in the book. Baby with knife and chest. Toy baby with knife and chest. God damn, I should have known. I should have seen it coming. Oh, now we're in a trunk. Great. We're, pro we're probably gonna have the same fate as that toy baby. Ugh. It's very uncomfortable just pitch blackness and hearing... <laughs> Like the car startup, knowing you're fucking getting kidnapped. Very unsettling. Night Guard. Remember, this is the introduction to a complete game. I hope you enjoyed. Oh, so in a complete game, you're actually gonna like have to like escape or something? That's pretty cool. All right, that was good. All right, everyone, but here we are with the third and final game. And this one is called Trust the Watchers. We apparently are going into a forest and we find three people trying to keep themselves warm and a fire, and that's all there is to it, it said. Or, well, that's all they're gonna say. On a small clearing in the woods, we find three souls around a small fire, struggling to stay warm. Three days of non-stop rain. These woods have been forsaken by the gods. Why must we watch over this cursed land? He looks, he looks a little fucked up. Holy shit. What the fuck is that mouth, man? I'm covered in mud and freezing. This post is a waste of time. Complaining is not going to make this fire any bigger. Old man. We need more wood. Don't know why I gave him that accent. <laughs> but that's his accent now. Don't you dare look at me. The old man is too tired from starting the fire in the first place. And every piece of the wood is wet around here in case you haven't noticed. It is time for the rookie to earn his place. Am I the rookie? Did you hear that, rookie? It is your time to shine. We need some dry wood. So grab that axe and go into the forest. There must be something out there that is not soaking wet. Find dry wood and return to camp. Press F1 for help. We have a run button. That's always good to know. Um, where is the axe that he was talking about? Give me the axe. Where, where, <laughs> where's the, oh. Oh, I already have the axe. All right, we'll go into the woods. Let's find ourselves some wood. Um, <laughs> well, it's right here, guys. There's a tree, right? No? Not good enough for you? Oh. What the fuck? You better not try to ambush me. I've got a fucking axe. Okay, I'll chop your head off. This looks like something I can... Never mind. <laughs> it's just a pe... What the fuck? This old tree seems dry enough. That looks beautiful. That looks great. I kind of don't want to chop it. I feel like the, <laughs> the fucking forest creatures are going to come after me if I chop this. Oh, well. Here we go. Fuck it, man. Fuck nature. There we go. <laughs> Fuck Mr. Beast with all of his planting tree stuff. And this is what I do to the trees, okay? <laughs> I'm kidding. Don't do this to the trees, guys. Don't, don't do it. How much do we need? Holy shit, did I just pick up that big fucking piece? Can we not pick up anymore? Is two the max? I, I'm guessing two is the max. I could totally pick up the entire tree by myself because of my huge, humongous biceps. But obviously, this guy is not like me, guys. So, you, you you know, not everyone is like me. I have to keep that in mind. All right, guys, here you go. Got the wood. That is some good lumber, rookie. But it's not enough to last for the night. Go and bring some more. You goddamn son of a bitch. Uh, if you would have walked with me, you could have picked up more wood. This would have gone over a lot easier. It would have been a lot easier instead of making me walk back, you goddamn bitch. Okay, well, let me grab the wood and get out of here as fast as I can. All right, um, there we go. We can't pick up a fur piece, right? No. Um, <laughs> whatever that was, stay the fuck away from me, please. He probably saw that I chopped down his favorite tree and he's really, really in disarray right now and really sad, but that's too... <laughs>
<gasps> Guys? <laughs> you know what? I'm kind of glad that I went to get the wood. Because it seems like you kind of got fucked. Um... Guys? <laughs> There's a blood trail. Let's follow the blood trail after hearing the fucking screams of fucking death. Of course. Let's follow it. Oh, another tree. Let me chop it too. Why not? Oh. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't mess with nature, guys. This is what happens. What the fuck is that? What are those, actually? That was pretty cool. Oh, it's not over yet. Are we inside of a humongous tree? What is this? Is this the Deku tree? Get out. Oh, no. Get out where? Oh, wait, can I chop it? <laughs> they didn't even take my axe away. Very... I was gonna say very smart of them, but I don't think they need. I don't think they really care about me having yaks. Pretty sure they can over. Oh no, no, uh, -uh. nope. Oh god, I hate those noises. This looks like the way out. Go, go, go. Get out, horsey. Get on. Oh, look at our little evil face. <laughs> Made by Bad Lights Games. That was pretty cool. All right, guys. Well, next time you're in nature and you accidentally step on a leaf or something like that, be careful, be mindful of this game because you're going to get fucked in the butt by nature, as you can see in this game. But all the games were pretty cool today. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing for more. And see you on the next video. Peace.